Welcome everyone, this is Louis speaking. We are now looking a bit at the new open beta of World of Warship. If you guys didn't know, this is the latest installment of Wargaming. And after World of Tanks and World of War plans, they're now on to the sea level. Um, first and foremost, I wanted to give this kind of game a first impression. I haven't played a lot, I've played like four games, uh, but still I wanted to you guys some insight on what is coming and what you can expect from this game first off uh, this is an open beta so if you do any kind of progress in the game it will all be wiped when the game is fully released and as an open beta there are still some bugs included as a full package of access release and shit like that so right now you're looking at a level one ship from the United States uh, it is the Eric called and I have great I have upgraded it to its maximum potential um, and as you can see the graphics are not too bad the, the texture is a bit low at some places if but overall it's not bad at all way better than what we expect and what we can see from World of Tanks of course and World of Tanks is going to get some massive upgrades but still uh, the ships looks very nice in comparison this is Japanese ships and uh, you can see the amount of texture details come into it Unfortunately, you can't see the people in it, uh, unlike War Thunder, where every vehicle has its own personal. But I guess it will be a, maybe a bit too much to ask uh, if you had to put like 200 people on board. But oh well, the ship looks nice. Uh, the graphics are certainly better than World of Warplanes and World of Tanks. And uh, I'll show you how, guys, this is played. Uh, I, have, I was not actually into the close beta. And if you guys are interested, it can actually... Give you a good hint of what's coming so let's jump into battle and i'll explain the rest so this is what world of warship in game looks like it really really represents what's wargaming has always been comfortable with as you can see the map corner left that uh, corner right sorry bottom and on the corner right you have the ship guns its placement the speed the throttle and uh, its overall health. Now, as you can see, we are a bit afar from our enemy, uh, from our friends, so we're going to regroup. We're gonna see what's going to happen. So I'm gonna take a, cl a closer look to the ship. As you can see right now, the, um, the back turret are actually turning, and I can actually see that they're turning around, and if I look in front, it will actually go with the front turret. Now, this one is shooting at nothing. My first problem with the game is actually that you don't have a lot of weaponry. Um, of course, I guess I'll get some torpedoes afterwards, some anti-aircraft um, guns and better turrets and other things like that. But so far as a tier 1, I only have two tower, uh, two mounted double twin cannons. I think they're about 80mm each, maybe a bit less, but um, they're still quite efficient. As you can see, the model is quite alright, but the, the waves are very, very nice. It is probably the best aspect of the game. It's really have this kind of feeling where it has a 3D effect, where my waves are actually interacting with its actual water. And you can see the propeller at the end really doing its job. It's nice, a little bit nice design. So, we got some enemies at 9 kilometers. Let's go see here. I can switch from artillery to normal mode as such. And I'm going to shoot a bit in front. So let's try to shoot it from here. No, that's not too good. Another shot from here. I'm going to slow down a bit. Same control as usual. Uh, AW, AWSD to, sh to move and mouse to simply shoot. I'm going to go to a full stop before I get behind those rocks right there. Oh, I got a double hit right now. We are about three shooting at it, maybe more, so he's going to be into a lot of trouble. I can still shoot over the hills. Oh, I got shot from somewhere. I think it's torpedoes, maybe. I'm still gonna shoot over here, but I don't think my projectile, my bullets will go above it. So what happened? What am I, what am, am I getting shot by? 
I think I still got hit. So let's go full front. Damage has been reported. As you can see, there are some details. So... Let's go and recruit. Let's try to help our friends right there. I'm not sure I'm gonna get any kind of hit so far. No, I'm way too slow. There's those here that are quite close. Oh yes, very close indeed. Let's shut our double tower. There you go. He's down. Flames, he's gonna sink slowly. Let's just make sure I'm not going into this guy right here. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Too late. A bit of damage. He should use his extender. one is in a lot of trouble. My, I cannot range. I'm trying to get a bit higher up, but I cannot. No, I'm not sure exactly what hit me, but still. What about this one? No, it's still too far. This one is too far as well. This one is getting close enough. I guess I'll revert a bit and try my lucky shots. Got a hit here. Now my... All my port can actually shoot. Oh, that's a very nice. I did hit his ammo box or his one of his tower guns. So now he cannot shoot with everyone. He has to repair before being able to go full offensive. I'm still going to try to get his front. Let's see. Good shot. Our enemy is getting... I don't exactly know what he's trying to do. I set fire to him. It's going to be quite there. It's going to be quite down. The fire effect is very, very nice. They really improved on this aspect. Particle effect, very good. Wargaming gets my thumbs up on this one. Now, I'm not sure if the captain is actually retarded or... There we go. Perfect. Let's try to see. I'm going to get closer to those. You can see as you level up, the ship really, really gets bigger and way more powerful. This one is down as well. Now it's four against... No, five actually against two. So they're pretty much done for. Unless they have really, really powerful battleships, cruisers, destroyers, or even an aircraft. It's going to be quite difficult for them. Let's take a look to admire the ship details. The damage, as far as I'm concerned, there's fire effects, but the damage is only, you know, on the texture model. It doesn't affect the 3D model itself, it's just the overlay out texture. It's a bit deceiving concerning like War Thunder as a full out 3D effect. Am I seeing a, a shell hole? I think I am on the port side. Is there anyone on the other side? No, there's not. Alright, let's get serious again. My cannon is getting ready, and I don't think I'll be able to... Not yet. And my cannon, I don't think they'll be able to shoot over them. No. The problem is though, I feel the ships are too kind of toyish. A bit like the same problem we have with World of Tanks. As you can see, I can just wobble around. Like it's nothing. And let's be honest, those are, you know, 200, 300 tons, even more ships. Even if I have a small one, it's still a lot of tons. Let's try to get this one a bit for the damage, maybe. And we did hit him. Good. This one is getting over here. I'm going to get a bit far and try to cope with it. Oh, that's a bit... I I don't really like the camera. No. It's gonna get down in a few seconds. There you go. This one is over here. And he's quite damaged. So we're going to get 
a very very nice angle i'm gonna try to make him sink as quickly as possible good hit he's shooting at me my second cannon is getting in place position and i think this will be it soon Another one. There you go. Last hit kill, not too bad. So you get your usual battle performance. You receive some money, experience. It's the same concept, really, as uh, World of Tanks. And you can see here your team classes, which if they had really, really the same pattern, the same kind of details, you can expect the same kind of UI. Uh, your statistic, everything like that, and we can get back to the port. And let's see, can we get a new one from Japan? Can I con can I research this one? I don't think I can. All right. So that's it. You have modules. You can change back to them. For example. You can see actual, actually the details that are being changed. So, for example, I dismount my hull. This is without the upgrade of the hull. And with it, there's a bit more detail. So, not too bad. Not too shallow. It's pretty good. So far, I like it. The problem is I'm quite afraid it's going to be quite redundant. I haven't seen anything containing any details about... You know, changing cannons, configuration. It's mostly about upgrades, research, and getting a bigger ship. Which I found kind of minimalistic compared to other games. And if you're like me, if you come from Mikwar Online, this is just really abysmal as a configuration. Of course, Wargaming has always tried to keep the historical aspect as close as possible to reality. But the gameplay aspect is quite arcadish and to be honest they could do with some different configuration i mean if you see a ship like that during the second world war as rusty as this it will not be tolerated i swear to you the ships during the second world war were very used but they were always very clean so that's it guys i'm going to post a lot more videos of those until the open beta gets a final release date and after that we're gonna really start playing seriously. Am I going to put some money into it? I'm not sure, since World of Tank is really, really expensive. Like for one tank I saw, I know one ship I saw a ship at the, I think it was $40, $50 for one digital ship. I mean, really, I am go not going to spend that much money on one ship, but maybe some premium time to make the actual grinding a little bit frustrating. I still like the game though, I still find it has a lot of potential. Am I going to play a lot? Still don't know. If War Thunder comes with a better solution, I might switch ship. But for a vessel game, War Gaming is starting off really good. So, I hope you guys like this video. Of course, I'm going to do more and inform you on the updates and my progression. And as usual, take care. Bye bye.